Hey guys, and welcome back. This is going to be episode 3 of my truck camper build, and I'm going to be catching you guys up on a lot of the things I've done since the last time that I posted a video. <coughs> Excuse me. So, starting out, the last time that I posted a video, I was working on insulation. I made my bed frame because I needed it. Uh, it's worked out really well. Bed frame, it sleeps comfortably, and uh, being an 8 foot truck bed, I've got plenty of room uh, to stretch out. So I'm quite comfortable at night. Um, I've got pictures to show you, which I'll put up here in just a second. And they will show me finishing the roof insulation and putting the insulation up on the passenger side. You can see that I used some sticks the dowel rods and even a shooting stick that I had to hold pressure against everything until the PL Max adhesive dries. So here you go, you can take a look at those pictures now. So you can see in those photographs that I got the majority of the installation done. The only thing that I had left was the triangular shaped pieces on both sides, which I got those done shortly after. And in the same way, using sticks to hold one side, then I did the other side. It was complicated by the fact that I had to plan on doing it in the morning so that I could because you know, I can't be moving around inside here to get my stuff while I got all them sticks set up. But uh, moving on from that, the next thing and big thing that I was able to accomplish was I was able to build my drawer. So the whole point of this thing was to be a toolbox and be a six foot long drawer to pull out the back of my truck, have all my tools in it, and I don't need to access it from in here. So there's not gonna be any hatches or anything here. So I've got another series of pictures that I'm gonna cut to now, and you can see the pictures of my uh, drawer built. Okay, so in the next clip is uh, me talking about some more insulation, specifically the, the rear wall around the rear window. And in this clip, you'll be able to see my lights. Um, I had just installed them that day. And this is the day that I actually put the triangle pieces up. But once again, I mention it in this video. So here's that. All right, here we are. I'm up late, couldn't sleep, trying to get some insulation done. As you can see, we're making some good progress. Uh, I've got both side panels completed. I think you've seen that already. I've got my triangle pieces put in. And the middle strip finished. Went ahead and installed the lights, run the wiring. I'll pull those down while I put the carpet or whatever material I finish the inside of it with. I've been thinking automotive speaker box style carpet, possibly the charcoal colored, but I have another idea, so I'm not fully committed to that yet, but anyway, <clears throat> I've put the first layer so there's a good step. This window frame is thick, so I had to create a back layer that's been glued and cured and now I'm creating this face layer that's actually going to cover this 
go right up to where my window opens. I'm actually working on the side piece, and I thought I'd show you how I how I laid this out. All right, now I'm going to show you a clip of that same piece I was just showing you finished, and also I talk about just what I feel about the insulation at this point. Um, this is a clip that I've recorded a, a quite a while ago, and uh, I still feel the same way, but uh, I look forward to getting you guys caught up to real time so that uh, you can see all the things that I've already accomplished, but I accomplished such a such an amount in such a short time that I'm just trying to piece it together, and editing isn't the easiest thing in the world for me to do, so... I'm trying to relay it here through the computer and get caught up. I think if I catch up in real time, I'll be able to record a video and put it out much easier. But here you go. Here's the clip I recorded just after finishing those rear uh, panels. To point something out to you guys, if anybody's curious about the insulation and how well this, this pink foam insulation is working, I could not be more pleased with the goals that I set or that I was trying to achieve with this and how well it's working because anybody who's researching this subject and is trying to do a topper build like this condensation if you're doing research condensation might not be on your mind yet I guess but eventually you're gonna get to a spot where you're worried about condensation and that's the point of this insulation yes being warm in the winter time is important yes trying to cool it off in here maybe in the summertime is important but the main purpose of this insulation was to prevent the condensation all inside the topper you can see now I'll move this out of the way but this whole fender well here is just covered in condensation it's there the whole area back here um, even this rail, this metal rail here, it's got condensation on it. But this entire top, there's not a spot anywhere on the insulation, insulated portions that is wet at all. There's a drip right here from where I actually opened this roof earlier, or not roof, the door still unlocked you can see that when I open it and it's sitting there open condensation that's on the back side of that panel because the windows still do condensate but it'll run down and uh, end up dripping out on me but yeah I love the way that these panels overlap each other when it closes gives this nice seal this top edge won't be as noticeable once it's carpeted. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out real quick and uh, just say that so far that I'm very pleased with this. I've not seen anybody else put polystyrene insulation under a topper like this. Alright guys, and with all that, I'm going to wrap this video up there. And when we come back next time, we're going to dive into the diesel heater. The Vornado space heater is still working great, and I still use that. Um, I have an option for when I'm somewhere that I can plug a cord in, and then my option for when I'm somewhere that I can't plug a cord in and I need heat is going to be a diesel heater. So in the next episode, we'll be looking at my diesel heater and its installation into my rig and we'll be moving forward obviously you can see in the background behind me I'm sitting in the truck and there's more carpet done so we will uh, get into that too but until next time I appreciate your time watching give me a like and subscribe if you care to we'll see you again